Okay guys, I think I can sum up uh, the nature of this wing and uh, I can think uh, I think I can sum up the behavior of this wing. I don't think it's a, it's a bad wing. It's very nice. It glides very nice. It hangs out pretty much same as my other uh, gliders. Uh, I think with a different layup and a stronger uh, structure, this wing is going to rock. Uh, it seems very. It seems that it handles uh, turns very nicely, without any uh, surprises. It's very easy to handle. And we'll see the next uh, wing that will come out of the mold. I hope it will be uh, much stronger regarding the structure and uh, more precise. Uh, and after that, I'll uh, do another test and see how it launch, to what height, uh, and see how it behaves in uh, turbulent weather. I'll keep you I'll keep you posting I'll keep you updated uh, with more uh, clips that I'm going to do with the new wing and uh, see how it evolves how it behaves and uh, if we have something nice in hands so we can make a uh, a full uh, glider, uh, one that can uh, be used in a uh, contest, in national contest. From what I see, from what I see now, I think it's possible. It's actually possible. More dihedral to the wing will give the plane more stability and easy, easy to control and handle. Maybe less uh, penetration, maybe less uh, speed, but it glides very nicely. So I think with more dihedral it will behave much more relaxed then it behaves now but it's okay Now I'm testing how much time it can stay up there with a not a very strong uh, launch. 
since I can't uh, throw it very hard but let's check how much I can hold it without any much of lift at this day at this hour of the day just put just uh, gliding with a big big round legs and see how much I can hold it that was the one minute beep it's not bad it's not bad at all I throw it maybe to a 113 I throw it maybe to a 20 25 meters not more than that and I managed to make more than one minute I think this wing can hold more than two minutes in a very nice uh, launch height to 50 55 meters so uh, it's interesting I added some, uh, added some uh, up elevator, trimmed it a little bit up since there aren't any wind and I can slow down the plane as much as possible before stalling. In order to gain, I have to be careful from that tree in order to gain some more time. That was the one minute beep. And touchdown at 120. Let's add him some uh, more camber and slow him down. Da slow him slow him down even further and see if we can squeeze the one minute 30 seconds that was a maybe 20 25 meters maybe 30 meters of uh, launching height I have to be very gentle on the ailerons so I need to squeeze the maximum lift I can uh, I can squeeze from that uh, wing with that camber remember to be careful with with that tree over there let's try to go further ahead very slow turns very very slow turns that was the one minute beep and I think maybe we can go through the 130 seconds if we are going to be lucky I hope so I'm not sure about it but touchdown at 123 seconds mm. let's try 
another time, another again. Let's try again. We are heading to sunset. No, I'm just kidding. We'll try. That was the one minute beep. I'll try to slow him down a little bit and maybe to gain more seconds very easily. Turning very slowly. Touchdown at 1.30. 1.30. If you can see it, I hope so. So I can sum up. This glider has... This wing has... Uh, I think it has a very good potential. It means if it's going to be built correctly, I think the profile will supply the, the needs. It's a little bit... I think it will supply the needs. It seems that it glides very good. And let's try again. Maybe we'll gain something. I will try to do a bigger lag so we won't waste any uh, height on turning just on straight lines That was the one minute beep. Be easy. Very slowly. We'll try to squeeze him. Touchdown at 128. I think we have a winner. I think this glider can can be a very good one. I think so. Okay, that's it for now guys. Till the next time.